Hello students, welcome to science class. Today we will talk about plant cells, okay? Especially practical activities. Okay, what are you going to do? You will do an experiment to see the cells under microscope. But before that, I will explain to you that all living things are made up from tiny structures called cells, okay? Most of the cells are very tiny or too small to see by our naked eye. So, we need microscope to help us so we can see the cells under microscope. Okay, now look at the materials provided in front of me. Okay, there is a microscope. So, this is a compound microscope. Compound and this is a light microscope because we need light so we can see it. Okay, I will explain to you the parts of the microscope. Yeah, okay. This is the part of the arm. If you want to hold or to move it, we use this. And then this is base. Okay. And then this is the stage. The stage for the sample. Yeah. If you want to observe plant cell, you put your sample on the stage. And then this is uh, objective lens. Objective lens, there are three. You can move it. Okay. And then this fine focus knob. This is coarse focus knob. If you want to move up, move around to make it focus or to adjust, yeah. And then this is uh, eyepiece lens. So if you want to see the cells, yeah. Okay. And one more here, mirror. Okay. Mirror you need because this is not elect. Uh, you don't need electricity. We just need light here to reflect the light, yeah. Okay. So this is the part of microscope or compound microscope. Next. Why do we need to observe cells or onion cells in microscope? You just take the onion, yeah. This is the microscope. This is a slide, must be clean and dry. Then cover slip also. This one a cover slip. Also you have to be make it clean and dry. You can use alcohol to to, uh, to make it clean, yeah. And then this is tweezers, okay, to take the very thin layer of the onion and then this is onion and this is the part yeah you slide it then you need water just a little bit and then letters you need colors yeah stain okay so now let's start yeah the first step that you have to do pick up your onion and then cut it in one centimeter squares okay the parts that you take is the very thin layer so take your tweezers okay take the very thin layers of the onion okay this is the part and then put a drop of water here only a drop okay the second step okay take your sample put carefully Then you cover with cover slip. Okay, you cover it. Okay, just push a little bit so there is no air bubbles inside. Okay, good. Okay, so here is your sample. Yeah, now we want to put it on the stage of the microscope carefully because this is a glass yeah okay then the chairs to the middle okay next step okay you just see from the eyepiece lens to see the cells okay you just see okay I can't see anything if you cannot see anything you try to adjust this adjust to focus going up going down and then you cannot see maybe the light okay or you're going up again you can try to make the objective lens uh, different magnifying yeah okay what do you see in the microscope oh you can see the tissue right many parts of cells become a tissue and then you cannot see the nucleus Okay. Why? Because most of the cells are very transparent, so you cannot see it. So we will try to see the nuclei. How? 
by putting a stain, yeah, or coloring. You can put some stain here for the cut uh, cover clip. Stain, put some stain. Okay. Then you put it on the stage again. the nucleus as we know that cells consist of nucleus if you want to see more other from mitochondria cytoplasm etc you have to use electron microscope so this is only a microscope that can see nuclei and the cell yeah okay guys that's all the experiment about observing cells under the microscope today so you can try it at home if you have microscope but if you don't have it you can watch this and then you can try next time when you see a microscope and then to uh, you want to observe the cells of onion or plants okay that's all see you next time bye bye